In this video, I'm going to show you some things about RStudio. RStudio is an integrated development environment. It's a front end to R. RStudio is uh, freely available at rstudio.org, R-S-T-U-D-I-O.org. If you've ever used R, or even if you haven't used R, you have noticed that the R console, that is the basic R application, is pretty limited, limiting in terms of menu and ease of use type features. Consequently, there have been quite a number of uh, interfaces to R that have been developed, extensions of R, if you will, that are user oriented and designed to make R easier to use. There are text editors such as TNR. There are mathematical GUI interfaces such as R Commander. These are very popular because the R console itself is rather austere. So we're looking at one now, R Studio. This is my favorite. R Studio, once you have installed R and R Studio, you can open up R Studio and it will it will open up R, the R console as well, and the console will run within it. For example, here you see I've opened up my R Studio and it's active. And the console is down here, the R console is down here in the lower left hand window. You have a number of other windows in our studio and this approach enables you to be able to assess different features and facets of your workspace and of your session at the same time. Now in the top right corner you'll notice there is a screen, a window with two tabs, history and workspace. Workspace is the session that is currently active in your R console. Your workspace is where you keep all of your variables, data sets, and functions. R Studio actually organizes them for you and makes them visible and has them categorized by data for the data sets, values for the variables, and functions for the functions. You also have a history tab which essentially is a record of the script and the commands that you have executed. In the lower right hand corner we have another window which also has four tabs, help, Packages. This is a very useful tab. You can see all the packages that have been installed, but you can tell which ones are loaded or not by check marks. That is, every package that's visible here has been installed, but only the ones that are checked, such as data sets, have also been loaded into my session. This is something you're constantly struggling with when you're using the R console is trying to keep track of what is actually loaded and available in your session as you're working. You also have a plotting window and you have a view down into your directory on the computer where our studio is running. Up here we have the uh, script that I've opened up and you'll notice the it's I'm using it essentially as a text editor it has the lines and down here we have our studio so let's clear our studio we could say control L uh, our console control L is the default command to clear your R console I highly recommend the use of R Studio to anyone who uses R for any purpose whatsoever. It, uh, as I mentioned, R Studio was developed as an integrated development environment, an IDE, if you will, which 
The purpose of the use for an IDE is to develop code. That is, our studio is an expert uh, platform to develop your own applications in R, which is frankly more advanced than I'm capable of. But it also can be used by intermediate, advanced, even beginners, beginning users in R just as a better interface to the R console. So let me show you where to get R Studio, and um, I I have no vested financial interest, and they, they're a nonprofit as a matter of fact, so they don't make any money off of this. You can get R Studio by going to www.rstudio.org, and here it is, introducing R Studio. Um, click the download button. If you want a single version, if you're an individual user, you want this one. The desktop, the server is for group users. Click that and you'll find the different installation files for Windows, Mac, Linux machines. Thank you very much for viewing my video.